Yeah, the last few days has been strange in one way with uh, my phone just blowing up. But nothing, has, uh, nothing else has really changed. I think when we get home, there's going to be a pretty big uh, homecoming, hopefully, uh, when we get to the bike park. And uh, yeah, I think the Irish fans have been going nuts. Yeah, they've definitely been buzzing. Um, like, with Oshin winning world champs, that was kind of the first time anyone from Ireland were like, oh, we can actually do something here. And then, like, I was like, I remember even getting a podium last year. It's pretty sick, but I don't think we ever thought that it be a 1-2 win. I felt like we were pretty much on it. It's not like we just did it one run. We did it pretty much throughout the week. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Like I was pretty super happy with my run. Like I don't think I could have improved much more on it. So I was like, it's not like I made a mistake in one section. I was like, oh, I think I could have had him. I don't think I could have had him anywhere. So I was pretty much buzzing out of the whole split. So I was like, yeah, it was pretty. Couldn't think of a better person to beat me. It was, yeah, it was a bit <laughs> like, what just happened? Ronan said to me, you just won a World Cup, and I was like, because I didn't really see the crash at the moment, I wasn't sure of what happened. And yeah, just disbelief, I was like, no way. And then, oh, that, uh, that's changed. And yeah, just won a first, my first World Cup, so. It's been a while since I was like on a podium or winning a World Cup since my junior days and uh, getting over the injuries at the end of last year. I definitely wanted to come into this year with some good results and uh, get my name kind of back up and be top 15 uh, elite rider, which I done some top 10s and then leading into this one winning the World Cup was, I wasn't expecting, but I would have liked to have done something. And yeah, it feels good to be getting the Irish flag and my name up top. Yeah, the track's sick, but like everyone's like, oh, you boys, you boys do so well now. I think it's more, everybody just complains so much. Like once we get there and it's track walk, it's a bit slippy, all you hear is complaining. And like, I don't particularly like the track, but when I hear everybody else complaining and whining about how much they hate the track, it's quite easy to feed off that negative energy and kind of turn it into positive. Because if you're having a good day, and I think we had a pretty sick practice day, I'm, I get happier once I see everyone else getting disappointed because they're kind of showing their cards. Like I'm not particularly stoked going through those rock gardens, sliding all the place, but when I see someone else constantly giving out and having a terrible day, I'm like, oh, well, then I'm not having a, yeah. And I kind of like from last season on that track, I knew I could do something. And yeah, so I was pretty, pretty buzzing coming into it. Yeah, it's not really a track we are, we have something similar to at home, like at all really. But everything last weekend just clicked, having Jack Meyer here as well, just helped. He was up on track. So he was like feeding me some lines. And uh, yeah, just from first practice run, me and Rona were riding together and we we're just, first run, we we're like, yeah, that was a really good first practice run. And just from there on, the weekend just kept getting better and better. I'm only here to have a bit of fun, really, a bit of crack on the bike. So like, yeah, I think it makes it a lot easier really enjoying it. Like I've, there's been a few races where I haven't particularly liked a section and you're always hesitant coming in. But if you enjoy the whole section, you're going to be, you're going to ride it fast pretty much if you're, if you're happy coming in. Yeah, I think if you're enjoying the track, you're going to do well. Like if you're having a good time and you're having fun, then I think a good, a good result is going to be on the cards just by just enjoying yourself. Chris's parents have put in so much work and hard work for this team and everybody on it has just been kind of grafting away. So it's pretty, pretty sick with Chris qualifying for his first, first World Cup. And um, yeah, it's, it's definitely sick. And it's just nice to kind of reward them with a podium really. That's kind of all, I think that's kind of with the team and then everybody at home. It's like also you're doing it for yourself, but then also Getting a podium, it means so much to all the kids at home and everything. It means so much to everybody at home, I think, getting a podium. So it's not, you're not just doing it for yourself, but yeah, doing it for everybody at home and the team, I think, is the main thing as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting up on practice tomorrow after uh, not riding my bike since the last race running snowshoe and not being here before. Definitely, there's a lot to learn. And uh, the nice, there's some nice fresh sections, which I'm a big fan of, hopefully it'll level out the playing field compared to the others that have been here before. And uh, yeah, I'm just looking to seeing how practice goes and hopefully put down another solid run on Saturday and finish off the season strong. From racing here last year, I got a top 20, which I was pretty happy with, with a, like a flat out track. And I wasn't, I wouldn't say I was riding my best at that stage. So come in, I really like this track. It's, a, it's more of a track like we'd get at home, natural, loamy, well, loamy-ish and the way the weather is meant to go as well. Particularly, I'd like to stay dry, but 
if it rains, I think we'll play that into our cards. But yeah, I think with this week, I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't really settle for anything short than a podium. Um, that'd be kind of the main goal and try to carry on the momentum from last week. So yeah, but I'm really looking forward to last race of the season and there's nothing really to hold back from. <laughs> for me, at the moment, yeah, I think it's going to be the same for me. Um, <laughs> I don't know, yeah, I don't know how to respond to that one to be honest. Um, yeah, I will be letting I think everybody know what I'm doing next season, um, hopefully soon enough, but nothing's 100% or nothing's guaranteed. I'm just kind of really just trying to sort out what's best for me at this stage and what I need to what I need to continue doing those results. I mean, we've done it once, so I don't really see yeah, why we can't do it again. But yeah, I mean, I, I think a lot of other riders on this track are definitely, I think a lot of people were stoked for us, but I definitely know there wasn't a lot of people that want to see that happen again. But I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm 100% confident we'll definitely do that again. Maybe not this week, or, but it, yeah, I'm confident it will happen again. And next time we might flip it. Yeah, maybe, maybe, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.